Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban knife style and jungle survival. Today, I'm going to give my six month review for the Lion Steel M3, and I'll share my thoughts on bringing it out into the field for bushcraft over the past half a year. If you'd like to check out my original video where I share my initial impressions, do check out the video link in the card above or the description below. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so and give your support. Thanks a lot. So this is the M3 but not in its original sheath. This is a custom Kydex sheath. The original for the black micata handles was this nylon sheath. It was good, but over time, as I used it, the blade cut that strap which holds the handle in place, and I knew it's only a matter of time. And personally, I'm very partial towards Kydex sheaths because of the weather I'm in. So I'm in a tropical climate, it's always wet, it's always humid, so I do prefer the Kydex sheath. And this is one I had custom made and molded over my knife. So Kydex is a thermal plastic and the way they make this is to actually fold, well, heat up the plastic so that it's soft. Then they fold it, mold it and shape it to the knife. Give it a lock uh, so that it would never drop out. And I do have an attachment for the belt which I put onto my survival or bushcraft belt and that fits very securely. I also have a ferro rod holder for my ferro rod. This is my primary ferro rod that just slides in just like that. So extremely secure. I have different knife systems, but if I'm just going out for a light hike or going out and I just want one all-purpose small survival knife, I would bring this particular fixed blade. Uh, I have added this fire cord, paracord. Uh, it's more for decoration, but again, I have a bit of cordage if I want, uh, really also for that tinder material inside. There is a drainage hole in uh, the design I specify, and this is, again, we get a lot of rain here. If it does rain and water gets in, I want it to be able to drain so it's easier to dry out. Now the great thing about a Kydex sheath is you can deploy the knife with one hand when this is on your belt. You simply use the thumb ramp over here, give that a push and you can remove the knife. So here we have the M3. It is a bit scratched up because I have been using it over the past six months. And what are my impressions now? I still like this knife. I like the blade shape, I like the size, I like the handle. The handle may appear quite thin, but it's actually very well designed. You can see there's a kind of a swell over here, and it's wide enough so that it fits in the hand very comfortably. I have small to medium hands, but with or without gloves, I feel I've got a great purchase on this particular knife. I also like that big belly uh, for the knife. I feel that it can do a lot of work. It's got a thick blade stock. This allows you to batten if you need. I personally do not batten with this knife unless I will really have to. I have tried just for trying out sake so that I know I can depend on it in a survival situation and it works really well for that. Now what I find it doesn't work as well is its sliciness. And that's because this is a very thick blade stock. It's 5mm. And even though this is a full flat grind, I find it's not as slicey as, of course, the thinner knives, like the Mora Companion, which is about 3mm. So obviously that will be much more slicey. So if you want to do feather sticks, the curls are going to be harder to get without cutting them off. And that's just the nature of the knife. But you do want, you know, a beefy knife if you want to do other things. You want an all-purpose knife. So I've used this to cut off limbs of branches, uh, debark uh, stuff, cut cordage, and just general use, a uh, heavy use. And then I definitely do want a thicker blade and I do enjoy that. But yes, I found that when I tried to do feather sticking and all, I don't get the same level of comfort or the thinness of those curls if I have to use my Mora knife or even a folder. So that's just something to consider and think about. This steel is Nyan Lox stainless steel. Now, I've never really used it except for this blade. I have no problems with it. I've sharpened this only once and I strop it quite a bit. But there is a bit of a chip over here. Don't think you can really, yeah, you can see it right there. It's a bit of a chip maybe when I was using it or maybe when I overstropped it, I might have just made it a little 
uh, too keen so I will have to fix that now this is very sharp but it is not hair popping sharp uh, it can cut through paper not very slicey though so I will have to touch this up over time but for a survival blade the way I use it and outdoors even if you're to get it paper sharp once you start using it you're going to lose that you know edge retention pretty fast but you do want it to hold its edge in terms of sharpness uh, but not necessarily hair popping sharpness but overall i really like the m3 uh, this is definitely a mainstay in my bushcraft gear i do have different knife systems which i'll share in a later video but definitely this is a mainstay and i'm even considering thinking about buying one with the wood handle but we'll see what happens or do you have the Lion Steel M3 or do you have similar Lion Steel knives? Do let me know what you think of them. Do you have as good experience as I have? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.